Disobedience is always irrational and it always robs us of peace. Welcome to this, your daily 180 Bible study. I want you to listen to how irrational it is to create your own worship. Isaiah chapter 44, beginning at verse number 13, the craftsman stretches out his rule. He marks one out with chalk. He fashions it with a plane. He marks it out with the compass and makes it like the figure of a man, according to the beauty of a man, that it may remain in the house. He cuts down cedars for himself. He takes the cypress and the oak. He secures it for himself among the trees of the forest. He plants a pine and the rain nourishes it. Then it shall be for a man to burn, for he will take some of it and warm himself. Yes, he kindles it and bakes bread. Indeed, he makes a god and worships it. He makes it a carved image and falls down to it. He burns half of it in the fire. With this half he eats his meat. He roasts a roast and is satisfied. He even warms himself and says, Ah, oh, I'm warm. I've seen the fire. And the rest of it, he makes into a god his carved image. He falls down before it and worships it, prays to it, and says, Deliver me, for you are my God. Now listen, to God's going to say how irrational it is. They do not know nor understand, for he, shuts, uh, he has shut their eyes so that they cannot see, and their hearts so that they cannot understand. These people, they don't realize how irrational they are. You know, that's what it is when we decide that we're going to create our own worship, when we're going to serve God in the way that's most pleasing to us. We're being irrational, and listen to this, we have robbed ourselves of the peace that passes understanding. What does this world around us need right now? It needs the pure gospel of Jesus Christ. When we set out and we say, and listen to me closely, we might think, well, I don't have any idols. Jesus said in Mark 16, 16, he who believes and is baptized shall be saved. And someone says, baptism has nothing to do with it. The apostle Paul talked about his own conversion experience and said that the preacher told him, arise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord. Paul said his sins were washed away in baptism. And someone says, no, 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 my God doesn't require baptism. Your God, if that's the case, if you say that, you've created an idolatrous God and you have been robbed of the peace that's possible only in the church which belongs to Jesus Christ. Join us again tomorrow.